he trying to keep his hair longer so he can do her more? Like, can I have one? Can I have one? Oh my gosh, she's thinking about it. Oh my god, my sister got into a car accident. Someone just hit her. Someone just hit her. I love you, dear. Do you love it? No. Okay, let me tell you a reason why you're seeing this video 10 years later. It's because do you know how difficult it was to edit the chaos that you're about to see? The absolute utter poopy show, which did you, do you guys want to listen to my Chinese? Do you guys want to hear my favorite word in Chinese that I call everyone? Are you ready? Baba Ulito! <laughs> Apparently it means poopy and I'm very cultured, very educated, very classe and you guys I am so excited to be back home. Okay, I've been home for a second But I'm just gonna say nothing is like home Absolutely nothing just to be in my own bed with my doggos But most importantly to not share a bedroom with my mother has been the most life-changing experience It just felt so good Let me show you the reason that I came all the way back home from Korea even though I don't want to because I loved Korea and it is this baby right here. You're like, what is that? Let me tell you, this is about to be your new favorite best friend. Did you know the month of May is get to know yourself on a deep level month? And let me show you the best way to do that. It is with the Lilo Sila Cruise. I am obsessed with this thing. I think I've talked about this device for so long now and it's because it is just all about gentle discovery. Do not be daunted. I feel like when I was first getting into the world of these devices, I didn't know where to start. I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is the one for me. I don't even know how to use it, where to use it. This is a game changer. This is the easiest way to start. I genuinely have found out so much about my body after I started using my Lilo devices just to be able to explore what I like, what gets me excited, what gets my partner excited has been amazing. And I would say I would attribute, I would attribute to constantly exploring each other's hot potato bods as a main reason that we are still together after 10 years. Is this like a cute relationship moment, honey? It has multiple pleasure settings. I love how soft the body safe medical grade silicone is. I love just being able to use it on different areas. I think that the main thing with this is don't hold back, just have fun. And I think it's so empowering when someone knows their body so well. Like when you have that mind body connection, you know what you like. I think it's like this aura that just radiates off of you where I'm like, you are magnetic. You have like that feminine divine energy and I want some of that. It is a constant stream of surprises. So if you guys are celebrating the month of May, get to know yourself on a deep level, then make sure to check out Lilo, link to the description because this baby is going to be on sale in celebration for this month. Make sure to check the link in the description to check out Lilo for the month of May. Get to know yourself deeper, May, and let's get into it. Morning. It's officially our last day in Torah. Is the light flashing behind me? Yeah, That's it's kinda, telling you time to go. Yeah, huh? it's kind of creepy. Get out. That's freaking me out. Oh my God. Okay, well, it's officially our last day in Torah. I feel like I keep saying that, but no, really. We're going to the airport right now. We've packed all of our freaking bags and I feel very swollen. Last night, I had the most dank dinner. I think it was like midnight. We went to the Pyeonhee Jump. We got back, we ate Indian food. And now I think maybe we're gonna get some breakfast and start heading out to the airport which it's gonna take us two hours to get there two freaking hours and maybe we'll do some duty-free shopping but that light is telling me that I gotta skedaddle out of here so maybe I'll show you guys what we did last night yesterday so officially our last day in Korea and I'm really excited so we're meeting my friend Shirley I met her online and this is our first time meeting but her whole life story is so fascinating I just want to pick her brain so she's ethnically Indian but she and her parents immigrated here when she was like a little wee baby and she her family actually opened up the very first Indian restaurant in Seoul I'm gonna link the restaurant here if you guys are ever visiting Seoul please go visit Shirley and her family she grew up in South Korea but she went to an international school and now she studies in Canada. And it's just like the most main Jeez. character energy. So we're going to Heidi Lao. I know it's my last day. I should be eating Korean food maybe for dinner, but I had to get Heidi Lao. There's one in New York. This is dumb. Heidi Lao! Second floor, right? Yes. Heidi Lao. I always have cute little stuff at Heidi Lao. This one has towelettes and cookies and the hostess speaks Mandarin. This is so cool. This is my friend Shirley and she's bringing us downstairs into the Gangnam Terminal. Yes. India! 
happening. You guys should know how excited I am about this. We're packing everything up. It's literally our last night. The suitcase is getting filled with all of the business that I just purchased for everybody back at home. And we realized that we didn't buy enough snacks for people. I didn't go to the freaking market. The only market that I went to was like a giant food market or the, the expensive market with like the $30 fruits. So we're gonna go make a 10 p.m. run to the penny jump. This is the reason that I want to move to South Korea so that I can put on some sweatpants in the middle of the night, force, force my, my fiance. fiance to go to the peony jump. It's like my life dream is just being accomplished tonight. And this is my peony jump fit. Honestly, it's kind of a cute fit. I got my little, I got a wedgie. <laughs> These South Korean beauty standards are killing us. I just asked my mom if she wanted nope. to go to peony jump and she said, don't vlog me. How am I supposed to go out like this? What? She already showered and took off her makeup. So my mom is not joining us on our peony jump run. My mom said there's so many yummy things. Mm. Go buy something for her too. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The GS25 lab. This is supposed to be like a fancier GS25 penny jump. Wow! Tanga! <laughs> wow! Oh my god, don't get ran over! We're gonna make a run for it? Are you crazy? Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. This feels kind of high tech for some reason. <laughs> Am I an idiot or does this feel high tech? <gasps> Should we bring some ice cream back? <gasps> oh, your sister. Your sister probably doesn't even like Jango that much and now her entire life is Jango Pop and Curry. <sighs> Let's focus. Oh my god, it's a phone strap. Okay, well. no more dango. Oh, these look really good. Pacasta jelly. <gasps> Honey, these are the fruit jellies that explode in your mouth. Do you know what I'm talking about? The ones on TikTok? We bust it open. Oh, we gotta get those. Oh yeah, that's good. Hello Kitty strawberries. Like, are you kidding? They're gonna love this. They're gonna love these. Honey, oh, so honey. good. Honey. Oh man, oh man. I'm like salivating at the mouth. Never seen this before. A crunky bar. Oh, Cho Dong. Am I that in English or what's going on right now? Because that's a weird name. Wow, I'm so stimulated. Like, look at these trolley kisses. Candy bananas. I've never seen that before. Like these little minion gummies. Oh, so freaking good. Potoba. This is a butter bar. I don't know about that. Oh, this is squid. <gasps> that looks incredible. That looks kind of sexual, honestly. My sister, she likes jelly, so I'm gonna get her a lot of jellies. Look, they just have Brazil nuts and these packagings. These little cute packaging. Why am I a packaging for? They have this um, Quaker oats. They put the oats in here, you add water and you shake it, and it's like an oatmeal shake. That's cool. Well, Pulak Ledang Curry. Curry. I need to get a bunch of these. Oh, let me get my own little cart right here. Rose Topoki. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Two of these. Basil. I think these are like wide noodles. Oh. Honey, I did something. What? I gotta keep looking. Let me go through the cup noodles first. Oh no, no, we're not done. We got three big old bags and they were so nice, okay? The employee was scanning it and he kept saying like, buy two, get one free. He went through all the bags to verify which ones and he told me to get another bag so that I could get it for free. He Aww. literally took extra time to tell me which ones were free. Wow, this I feel like a city girl or something. You wanna go to like a PC box? Oh, stop it. Right now? You're PC crazy, box? you're wild. What are we gonna do? Playing games and eat ramen? You're getting really crazy. Look at you, like going through this parking lot right now. You're crazy, man. You're kind of wild. It's kind of sexy and hot. What's going on? Honey! <laughs> Honey! <laughs> My mom is covering her face from the vlog. What? Wow. Guys, I'm about to try it. The dip and die. My mom wants to know why it costs so much shit. Oh, I, I haven't, haven't had a fucking dip and dots in 25. I don't even need a spoon. Thank you for your little Look, you open this up and it's got a mini spoon. Okay, this spoon kind of sucks ass. Oh. There's no way you're eating an apple right now. All the delicious food we've gotten, you're eating an apple? That apple really threw me for a loop. I'm so confused. I forgot what I was doing right now. Oh, yes. 
Indian food. I have all of this delicious Indian food from one of the very first Indian restaurants in Seoul. I hear this place is very authentic because they bring chefs from India. <gasps> mm. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's so many sauces. Let's Ooh. grab one now. Okay, let's try this. Nice kit. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh, that's good, Nan. Shut up. And, just, and like the way that her parents started this restaurant is so cute. So her dad actually immigrated from India before Shirley was even born. So he worked in IT, immigrated to Korea, and he realized that there were a lot of Indian immigrants in Korea that were working in IT, and there's like no Indian food anywhere. And all of them have the same complaint of like, I miss Indian food, I miss Indian food. So her dad was the first one to get to Korea. Then eventually her mom came and everyone was asking, hey, if your wife is cooking you Indian food at home, like can she bring toshirak, which means like lunch, We'll pay if she can just bring us lunches during our like lunchtime during corporate office. It'll be amazing. And so slowly they start catering for them. And then all the Korean co-workers are like, what's that? I've never had Indian food. I want to try Indian food. Can your wife bring us some Indian food? And they started a restaurant. The first the ever. The first Indian restaurant in Seoul. This is like a crazy story. She loves it. The next day. This is officially kind of the last meal that we're eating in Korea. I got a matcha latte from a place called Egg Drop. <gasps> Shut the front door. First of all, packaging, immaculate. It's still so warm. What is this from? It's called Egg Drop. This is your egg, regular cabbage slaw, ham, and egg. I got two boiled eggs, because I have to eat boiled eggs everywhere I go on this trip. I got a salad just Wait, in what's case. What's in there? They have these insane hash browns Ooh, with some corn cheese on top. That's new. The hash brown is sweet. There's a bacon egg what? on this that's hash brown. Clever. I need to get some sriracha on there. Mm. You like it? You like the sweetness? Mm. Let's try this savory. See, all the egg toasts here are pretty sweet. Ready? Bruh. The sriracha is fucking sweet. <laughs> Bro, let's try a plain hash brown. It's so sweet. Mm. Okay, I got a club sandwich. Let's try it. Mm. Is it sweet? So sweet. I swear to God, if my salad is sweet, <laughs> I'm gonna end things. It's sweet? You're kidding me. It's like neutral and sweet undertone. I'm gonna eat and I'll be back. I packed everything and I gave you some socks. No, I mean, it's a little, okay. Goofy, silly Really, bit. this is the only one? Yes, those are the only ones. Unless you want to go through this entire thing and find your socks. Yeah. <laughs> give them a foot show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could you not put your shirt in your pants like that? Currently, go time. We have packed everything up. I think we have T minus 10 minutes before we have to go downstairs, check out, and start heading to the airport, which is gonna take two hours. Again! Bye, everyone. It's a long voyage. Five of them trying to get our bags to fit and I'm getting stressed. I don't know. Oh um, my god, what did we do? Do we need another van? What did you do? How did we help? Because I'm embarrassed. I did it. Not that I did anything, but we still have a suitcase left. There's suitcases on seats right now. There was like five people. Um, Is it going to close? I don't know. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, Mom, where are you? I can't see you. I'm here! <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, clean streets. We're gonna need three carts on the way back. Okay, we got all the bags loaded. It's so easy! And these carts are free, and this airport seems pretty stranded. Pretty empty. Oh my god, are we gonna make it in 18, 16 seconds? Okay, go, 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 go! We have 13 seconds, we gotta hurry! Ah!
Okay, so I heard this is one of those airports. Listen, hold this, hold this. I heard this is not as good as like the Singapore airport because I know that one is absolutely freaking marbles. But I did hear you could spend like a whole layover in Seoul. They have nap rooms, they have nap capsules, which is basically just a bed and they give you like sheets, disposable sheets to put on top and you can take a nap. Oh. They have all these lounges that you can buy access into because some of the airports you have to like be a frequent flyer of those airlines or something, but you can buy access into a lot of the lounges. They've got a ton of duty-free shopping like Olive Young. Apparently people love their layovers here. They said they have live performances here. This feels like an underground subway market. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm into it. But it's a little too late to buy a suitcase, isn't it? No? Um, what is this robot? What do you do? Oh my god, it takes your to the gate if you can't take your own bags. Oh, that's so cute. Goodbye, cutie. She Where looks lost now? and without a job. Should we ask you to follow us? <laughs> no, let's go to the bookstore. Stop, they have BT BT21 golf balls. Honey. Oh my god, BT21 Hi. golf. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes, baby clothes. For these, these look like baby stuff, no? What oh are my these? god, Cups? J Hope, yes. Oh my god, we should buy this and flip it in America. A bit. There's no flipping, it's like $50. Guys, oh I'm selling this gosh. for $150. Anyone oh, wants it? I found it. These are like the kids' books, right? The kids' learning stuff. Oh, there's so many books. I just want Sophie to watch this later and know that I was and am the cool aunt. Oh. My mom says this is a good one so that she can be a doctor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work like that, Oma. It doesn't work like that. This is basically a merch shop. That! Is that a helmet? I think it's a bra. It's a bra. <laughs> Ma. Oh, Ma. oh my god, you look so funny. Baby strollers. Free baby strollers. The selfie robot. Will you selfie me? Taking a selfie. Satisfied. Very good. Thank you. I love your hair. She says she loved your hair, babe. She's lying. Do you love it? No, but thank you. This is my first time at the Korean Air Lounge, okay? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The like, food it's is a crazy. full on Korean convenience store vibe. Okay, let's go get the food, honey. Put your backpack down. They knew this is my first time at the Korean Lounge. Okay, these waters always get me. What is that? They're Jeju water in a thingy. Some tteokbokki. Mushrooms. Deep fried shrimp ball. This looks so good. You want some? Sure. Spicy fried chicken. Wow, that's crazy. They all look really um. This is an airport food review. I got my little Coke Zero, which Coke Zero tastes so much better in Korea. I don't know why. Look at these little waters. I'm so excited for the tteokbokki. Why is it so slimy? No. It's just slimy rice cake. Maybe not my favorite. Okay, mapa tofu. You can't go on vacation in Korea and eat everything and then expect the lounge food to be good, right? Oma. Wow. Wow, Oma. Come on. Said ramen's good anywhere. Honey, <laughs> she's the devil on our shoulder. What do we do? What do we do? I hope about this one though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's probably the best of everything. It tastes like a fried shrimp ball. It does. I want this to be publicly stated. I am only going to be sleeping three hours on this flight. I'm gonna stay awake for two hours. I'm gonna take a three hour nap. Wake up and work. That's the only way that I'm not gonna have jet lag once we get home. You heard it here first. That's what will take us to complete that room. morning everyone. I think the whole family's coming over in a little bit, but it's super early right now. It's super early. We've been jet lagged and our sleep schedule has been insane. I mean, okay, last night I went to sleep at, I think I wanted to sleep at like 7 p.m. I wake up and I'm like, oh, it's time to wake up. Good morning. I look at the time. It's 11 p.m. and I felt like it was a fever dream and then we ended up getting up at like 3 in the morning which even by our standards is really early but I want to show you this video that I took this morning that's not me oh, that's not me but this is the <laughs> wait that's not me wait Bro, hold that's... on let me go to the beginning but this is the aftermath you were like a Lawn mower. <laughs> you're like, you're, 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 you're. and then I was like, I gotta grab my phone. So I grab my phone. I do my passcode, and this is the end part. But trust me, before it's like, mm, mm. <laughs> there was a rhythm to it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, my sister and everyone was supposed to come over. They're not coming over. Mia went to the hospital. She's in the emergency room right now. We're not like that stressed because the doctor said that it's not that serious. She's not in the PICU this time. She's just in the emergency room, but they just want to monitor her. I don't know what happened. So in the middle of the night, my sister woke up and Mia keeps waking up and the baby monitor is like alerting my sister, your daughter is waking up. This is weird. Mia sleeps through the night every single night. She goes over there and Mia sounds like she can't breathe. She's not suffocating, but she's like, <sighs> Like taking these big breaths. So my sister is so traumatized after Mia's last visit to the emergency room where she like coded multiple times. Literally, we thought she was going to die. So they booked it, hightailed it to the ER, and they've been there since the middle of the night. And the doctors have no idea why she's not breathing well. Oh my god, my sister got into a car accident on her way here. She wants us to come because Mia's in the car too. Someone just hit her. Someone just hit her. We gotta go. We gotta go. So my sister and Mia were headed over to our house because the children's hospital is closer to our house than it is my sister's but, house. So they got out actually. So they got out and she hasn't explained to my mom what's going on with Mia. But she calls my mom literally on the way over here. I remember my mom came downstairs and she goes, your sister's going to be here in like eight minutes. And I was like, oh, okay, good, good, good. Like, I'm glad I get to see Mia. And then my sister calls and goes, you need to tell them to come to Kroger right now. I think she's just like very like emotionally fragile, which I can totally understand. She just got into a car accident. Someone hit her. That's crazy. So I think they're waiting for the police. The next day. It's the next day. Yesterday was the day that Mia went to the ER and they got into that car accident. And guess who's coming up and at it? Wow! Hello! Hello! Oh my god, long time no see everyone. Hello. Hello. You are you are good. Hello? Guess what they got me? Listen, I die without this wasabi mayo and my sister gets me a wasabi mayo every time she goes to the store. <laughs> okay, Sophie, I have one question for you. You have a tail? You go. You go. Are you ready for a suitcase full of bororo? Bororo. Bororo. Oh, she's so cute and shy. I love you so much. Mia just learned how to walk. Scared, but. Um, I realized that most of the stuff that we bought in Korea was for Sophie and Mia. So, let me just. It's the Bibles, everyone! Right. Let me distribute the Bibles! Given to us by uh, yours truly, grandmother. I knew it. Yeah. They want to be hand delivered to you. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. <laughs> now, if we can just turn to verse. Whoa, and it's in Korean. Oh, oh whoa, there's English. English. Nice. Okay. You don't wow. want it. Oh, he can't read this. Uh, yeah, you can take this one. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> one bag. Oh, hey, 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 my friend, <laughs> my friend, my friend. Wait, who should we start with? Do I just start digging into yeah. the bag? Yes. We looked for all the Bororo stuff that we could find. This Sophie, is a... Sophie, girl. Do you know this one? Sophie? Bororo. Bororo. Oh. Ah. Oh, Sophie is fascinated by this one. Oh. Wait, 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 what do you love? The Stanley. Stanley A Starbucks, Starbucks cup? Starbucks, yes. These are can't find. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Oh, why? What are you doing? What 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 do you what are you <laughs> she's putting all of our chess pieces into a bucket? What is she doing? <laughs> so cute. Sophie, oh it off. How cute! So Sophie Sophie's gonna bring that to the daycare? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Is your the one that we have yeah. has like a case on the bottom? Yeah, it's really nice. So we have to wash like five yeah. different things every time. Oh. And then like the top doesn't that's fit nice. her stuff. Oh, but oh. this one's deep. Oh. Is that good or not good? Yeah, that's great. You guys are oh. Really okay, let, let let me give them a give them a tour now. <laughs> now you guys made it seem so good. So we're looking at a beautiful secret jo Joju. There's more. There's frozen. Oh my frozen. God. I got you guys Bordeaux band-aids. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Band-aids. Baby shark.
Sharp chopstick and spoon. And then we have all these trainer chopsticks because she doesn't know how to use hey, chopsticks yo. yet. How many trainer chopsticks does a girl need? So many. What is that? That's a bottle of ramen. This is all like push that shit. Okay, let's move on into this suitcase because there's some in this suitcase. No. What could be in there? This is a book that you open and it's got these little stickies that you can move around. Oh my god. Uh oh, she is interested. Oh, does she know how to do stickers? Yeah. Oh, bro, she puts stickers oh my gosh, she oh. just rip it off. No freaking. Whoa! We got these books that you can draw on. Daddy. Not even a thank you. Press the button. Oh, this must be to teach them English. Sophie, Does Sophie use the other pad? Yeah, love she loves it. Markers that I'm not gonna give her at our house, but you can take them home to your house. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a marker safe home right here. I've heard the shit that she does with markers. Yeah. Like she'll then go why to are the... you giving her markers? Because they were so cute. More oh stickers, God. Sophie. This is under she... the sea. I know you she love love sea animals. She loves sea animals. <laughs> She's so happy. How much do you think toothbrushes can be, Opa? Oh, Two dollars. Two dollars, five dollars. Yeah. Okay. We go to this Shinsege department store, right? And my mom is like, we need to get kids toothbrushes. We need to get kids toothbrushes. We get these, oh my. these 360 degree toothbrushes, all right? And my mom looks at me and she's getting sold by this Korean ajumma. This Korean ajumma is like, you need to get refills too if you live in Miguk. <laughs> if you live in America, you gotta get refills, right? And my mom looks at me and she goes, okay. We're about to spend a fortune on toothbrushes. And I'm over here thinking, how much can toothbrushes be? Like, whatever, swipe the card, mother. $150. Shut up. This right here is 58,000 won. That's like $50. $50. Look at her. She got sold. Look she's at her. sold. She's sold. She's bringing back what she learned from that sales oh ajuma. Yeah. Sophie likes the stickers the best. Yeah. That was like $3, girly. This was a $50 scarf. But hear me out. They can both wear it. And you can upgrade any outfit. I'm scared to put it on her. She's terrifying. She's a bully. She did not like that. This is 3D. It's not 2D sticker. It's 3D. Come on, three dimensional. <laughs> I think she's still like on the 2D level. She's yeah. not like elevated to 3D yet. Yeah. And then mommy got more toothbrushes oh my for God. some reason. And then these are all closed. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at these. Oh my God, this is so cute. Guys, guys, look what's oh going on right now. Oh, oh y'all. Yeah. Oh. Now the cleanup, so we can get to even more stuff. Even more stuff! The way she's like digging in for those Sophie, jellies. Huh? Oh, oh, that's oh. nice. Sophie, can I have one? I know we just met, but can I have one? Oh my gosh, she's thinking about it. Can I have one, please? How to say one, please? One plus one plus one. Ah, thank you! Oh. <laughs> It's a cartoon that's really inappropriate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but Tiffany is. loves it. <laughs> yeah, it's not true, he's just funny. The oh my god, look at the top! Yes, oh it has a whole lot. So cute! Oh my god, he's so cute! I got a couple of things for Paul, but I think he's gonna be upset. What do you mean? <laughs> this is for hair loss. Oh my god! <laughs> More hair loss. Oh my god! Bro, Paul's gonna come back next month with the like long hairs. <laughs> he made an appointment next week. Don't say hair transplant. <laughs> he tried to keep his hair grow longer so he can do perm or like. These snacks, guys. Oh wow. What is okay. that? So we went to this um Hano hotel. This is mushroom. Vegetables. Freeze dry. They retain like ninety percent of its nutritional value, and it straight up tastes like chips. Please try one and tell me what you think. This box is thirty dollars. Please. Oh wow. It's so good, no? Mm. It tastes like chips. It tastes like chips. It does. 
tastes like oh. Oh, <laughs> Sophie's eating her. Cindy, is it good? Oh my god. You were judging just two seconds ago. Can no, I try this one. Oh. Try, try any vegetable in here. You will be mind blowing. What do you think? It contains 90% of nutrition. Every vegetable tastes so good. The test is if Sophie likes it, we're gonna get a freeze dryer so that the whole family can use it. What is she eating? Pumpkin? She oh, likes it, no? That. She's not spitting it out. Does so Sophie usually eat vegetables? No, she hates vegetables. Bro, she's eating vegetables right now. Okay, okay, Sophie eating zucchini. She doesn't like it, she's skeptical. She don't like green. Oh, give her like a red one or something. Beets are really good for it though. She's picking the red now. She likes the beets. Guys, should I get a fucking face dryer? It's settled. It's settled. This is literally what we were testing. Oh. oh, she don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> My sister wants her black suitcase back, <laughs> so she's reorganizing our Robin. She's the mom now. What? What just happened? What's going on? You're making ramen, yeah. holding a baby, a, a literal baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!